Hello there, my lovely Virgos. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. Getting ready to do your love reading. Um, hopefully we will not have any <laughs> spirits black blacking out this reading today. Um, so this reading is for Virgos. This is a Virgo channel. Welcome. And if you are new, please do hit like, share, and subscribe. And welcome back to everyone. If you want to get personal readings, there's a link in the description box below this video. Also, I posted in my community section that I will be doing live paid mini readings here every Friday um, starting October 1st. So if you would like to join in and get a one card reading, um, all the information is in my community tab. I'm also seeking moderators. So go on over, click the community tab here on my profile and you can get all the information. All right, Virgo. Let's take a look and see what the love messages are here for you for the month of September. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. All right, past position, Page of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, and the Chariot. Present is Six of Swords, Ten, uh, I'm sorry, Eight of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles. The outcome are going forward in the future four of wands five of swords and the seven of swords oh wait they said look at the bottom of the deck okay decision being made here waiting for an answer somebody might be waiting to hear from you or you're waiting to hear from somebody else or just expecting um some type of result you might be waiting for results of some sort or someone close to you there is an energy here of being at a crossroads though and i kind of feel like that played out yesterday as well you also have the ace of pentacles so waiting for maybe some money or a payout or a, an opportunity to present itself um, so that you can make some kind of a decision or somebody close to you okay three of swords is here so there may have been some type of heartbreak um, or a third party situation doesn't have to be romantic but an interference some words that were said or an argument maybe waiting to see if you if there's a kiss and make up um i feel there was some type of communication or something you found out in the past that caused some heart some pain pain in the heart there could be surgery some of you might be waiting for results on some surgery or something to do with an organ or your heart or something along those lines Okay, and the star, so this is about healing. Okay, healing from a surgery. Um, for some, waiting for money of some sort or something to, to be able to know if whether or not a surgery is approved or to have something move forward. But there's also like renewal, um, renewal of the heart as well. Aquarian energy there. And I feel overall, this has to do with like some kind of argument or maybe needing like it's it feels like kiss and make up this is really what i feel like is going on here all right so virgo the past energy and page of pentacles some type of ideas or concepts communication um, that was had in the past about plans about building something making something happen um, ace of cups as well this again is renewal uh, potential for a love start in the past may have occurred. The chariot is could have been about travel as well. There might have been um, tentative plans or something to meet up with someone. Could have been long distance. The chariot is about taking action, making change. It's also about, it's, it feels like kind of like putting plans into place, knowing the destination, and moving forward with that to have a new opportunity in love. Um, let's see, page of pentacles, okay, ten of pentacles, conversation about leaving some kind of a legacy, passing down traditions, um, information about moving or relocating or buying a home or somebody made an offer on a home or an offer on a new job of some sort and waiting to hear back about that. Okay, there's a new begin. Oh, the, at least in the past, there was a new beginning happening here for you. Something in the past that came along that made you feel like um, 
it gave you it gave you really good feelings in the past it affected you emotionally like a blessing of some sort that chariot for a lot of you moving to a new home relocating beginning a new job it's ten of pentacles this feels like there was some type of communication with someone um you know about coming to their home or uh, you know vice versa however the energy might have played out starting a family also business starting a business so as far as your person goes i feel like there were plans there were some plans to be made um about having uh like starting life together let's take a look at the ace of cups okay all right so your person i feel like had communication with you about this but with that ace of cups kind of resisted for some reason or on the nine of wands holding back um being very persistent with boundaries but also okay they just told me i wasn't asking but the devil card the shadow side the person has great had great fear about moving something forward um with you or having a potential new start it's like it's like the love came down <laughs> from the sky and it was like yes we're gonna do this yes i want this i want this love i want this connection and and i want to get it moving but i feel like this person may have been in the past holding back some type of addictions or something that they were dealing with a lot of anxiety and fear feels like the same as yesterday's reading okay five of pentacles so it feels like there might have been a financial issue that somebody was not ready financially to move something to the next level in the past. So there was a lot of delays, a lot of restrictions holding some holding back. Um, that five of pentacles kind of feels like a struggle, love kind of situation. Uh, somebody didn't have enough money to move forward or was not financially stable. This the person you were connecting with in the past, perhaps telling you that they're trying to get financially stable, buy a new home, get a, a better job, have a 401k, you know, financial stability, leave some kind of legacy. The opportunity presented itself in the past for love to come. And I feel like this person saw it, very much wanted it. But I also feel like they, ha they held back a lot because if they're, they have dark side, things in the dark that they were hiding from you. They didn't want to show you. Um, there might've been a bit of fear to, for you to see some, sh you know, shadow side of them. Okay. Um, that can be Capricorn energy. We have cancer. Um, but that five of pentacles feels like somebody was broke financially had a setback, financial setback and wasn't able to move forward wanted to definitely wanted to um but it feels like it it it, it feels like it, the desire was there there was a desire to do something here uh, with you to have something move forward so the present energy is the six of swords eight of pentacles and the, and the knight of pentacles i feel like presently for for i almost said march and i don't know why i almost said march but presently for the month of september i feel like this person is going to maybe they got a job or they now have consistent income but i feel like they're going to really make these changes here that six of swords energy is facing their fears as well whatever fears they might have had or was holding them back and overcoming them um this is also travel. I feel like there's an offer coming in here from this person. Maybe they owe you money um, or they want to give, bring a gift to you. If it's your birthday, happy birthday in the month uh, up until like the 21st, of course. But this Eight of Pentacles energy, I see consistency. Now let's take a look at this Six of Swords. Why is this, what's causing this person to overcome their fears and move towards you? Okay, I've got the King of Cups here. So somebody might be connecting with um, a water sign. Cancer, Scorpio, Piscean energy. Why is this King of Cups here? Oh, the lovers. This person is ready to, ready to take these next steps, ready to make this move here with you. This lover's energy, this is twin flame energy. This person is crazy in love with you. I do feel there is some kind of a kiss and makeup thing. Um, 
happening here i feel like there is consistency this person really making an effort and putting in the work um, this person loves you it doesn't have to be a water sign virgo it could be any any sign but they have very deep feelings for you and it is love they they do they see themselves with you they want to come into union or come into some contracts or you know if you've been waiting on a contract or something um or both of you have been i feel like this energy like it's coming together contracts are signed the deal gets sealed this person is going to seal this deal with you whatever it might be love finances career uh just life stuff coming coming into union that lovers is like a sacred union possibly even marriage okay you're getting some kind of an offer you might even be receiving an engagement ring maybe somebody's gonna uh, propose to you um, if you're male and you're dealing with a female it's very possible but i feel like whatever that was talked about in the past that w went or was put on delay or uh, for whatever reason it feels like it's flowing forward Okay, five of wands here. <clears throat> this person um I forgot to pull the romance angels card, you guys. Hold on a second. Hold your horses. What's wrong with me today? I have to tell you. I think yesterday's like off and on light show really had me spooked. <laughs> Okay, getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond even. So I do feel like that is something that's happening here. Maybe this is somebody, this person doesn't have to be, this is just something that happened in the past. It doesn't have to be your past person. There's just energy in the past with someone you were connecting with. And I feel like this energy is playing out now, getting to know each other, opening up, getting closer is what's happening here. Okay. Make the effort. That's what I said. Great love is worth taking the steps you're God to take. Great love. This person is making some effort to you, towards you, to really get closer to you, to really try to bring you both into union. You know, you might have been kind of opening up to this person. There might have been like an abandonment or an energy where there was plans made and somebody just stopped it or canceled it or delayed it or wasn't for whatever reason. Maybe it was you. For some of you, it could have been you. But I feel like since this is your reading with this person, there's definitely effort going to be made very soon. Somebody's making a decision here. Very soon this is coming to you. And I feel like in the month of September, whatever was holding back this person, I feel like they're coming forward now. Let's take a look. This Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, so with the Five of Wands, um, you know, the Five always represents some type of conflict or struggle. Can represent competition or chaos. I feel like this the 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 reason for the struggle is that there was lack of consistency in this relationship from your person's side. Okay. Now that doesn't mean you guys yourselves were inconsistent. It very well could be, but I feel like that's what the struggle is. And I feel like this person realizes that they need to show up for you in order for something to move forward. If they were half showing up in the past. You guys are getting half the love, half of the commitment. And I feel like this person overcoming these struggles by actually making the effort day in and day out every day. That's what builds one brick at a time, builds a house each day. Okay. So the Knight of Pentacles is here. Look for the Ten of Cups. Yep. There's definitely like a bona fide true blue offer coming in. It's not a cup of love. Love is here. This person has deep feelings. Will they offer love? Yes, but they want to bring stability either to a marriage or to this relationship. Um, they want that support that you give. They want to offer that as well to you with the Ten of Cups. So I do see marriage in the future here. Definitely a reunion of some sort, reconciliation of some sort, getting together. Five of Swords energy is here. This person is shutting out or shutting down those um clearing away the cobwebs snipping the sandbags so this balloon can soar okay um and i feel like a running away with you with the seven of swords like they're leaving town going to be leaving town in the near future um let's take a look at this okay four of wands with the three of wands yeah this person you know there might be some travel as well um 
expanding their horizons. This person in the future, it feels like, it feels like almost like waiting to hear back from you about coming together. There might be plans made. This person may be making plans to come see you or to visit you or to secure a date with you or to connect with you in some way. But their intention is to have a sacred union, is to be together with you, okay? So I feel like for some of you, this might be this person is at a distance to you. It could be, all right? Um, and for others, it's kind of like, this person's aware and will be aware going forward that to have this connection with you or to come home, I'm hearing, um, they're going to have to expand their horizons, right? And I feel like they're aware. Um, they may be inviting you to their home or you're inviting them. So it's kind of like waiting for someone to show up. The offer gets put out there, definitely in September. The offer gets put out. Okay, the hangman, yeah. This person has a new perspective. Whomever they were dealing with and whatever caused that three of swords energy, that's over. That's over. This person is holding three swords, which means this person, it feels like there's two other people here that they're telling to go away. They've made up their mind. They want Virgo. They want to connect with you. Piscean energy here with the hangman. So new perspective, seeing things differently. Okay, um, opening up the mind is what I feel like. Uh, they've been stagnant for a long time, and I feel like this person realizes that you know they, they don't have the love, they don't have your love or the love of their life, whom's you, who is you, Virgo, um, because they were just spreading themselves thin or they were connecting with other people. Like they weren't zeroing in and focusing on you. They might have been focusing on you in, in terms of like, at being attracted to you and getting to know you, but there, I feel like going forward, this person realizes that they were getting to know you and getting to know every Tom, Dick, and Harry, Sally, Betty, and Mary, you know, just kind of like spreading themselves thin. I feel like they're choosing you though, because the lovers is a choice. So, you know, if, if this person was, if you were dating them and they were dating other people, um, it kind of feels like they've narrowed down that you truly are the love of their life. They may have had fear of accepting that. Um, if you'd been with this person for a long time or fear of showing themselves to you, but I feel like there's an opening up happening here. Okay. The seven of swords, right? With the ace of pentacles. So that's what we saw in the beginning of the reading. Um, you're the opportunity. You're the golden egg. You're the one that they want to be with Virgo. Okay, and I kind of feel that this person, it feels like, um, like running away to be with you, sneaking away. Okay, release your ex. So this person, they're either releasing an ex or releasing all their exes <laughs> or releasing all the energy whatever baggage they were carrying and holding on to in this relationship um, of other people, you know, it feels like this person came in with a lot of baggage or a lot of other people still attached to them. And it feels to me like the, the, the time is here. The time is now they're letting go of these past situations or this past energy of someone that they've been, I don't feel like they really could express to you the depth of what they experienced with someone from the, from their past. It could have been some childhood trauma, could have something to do with family or a mother or a father who, or what they saw in their past, past relationships, or just some issue with a mother, I feel. Some issue with a mother. Let me see here. What are their love messages? I want to feel that way again. You came closer than anyone, Virgo. So this person, definitely. You came closer than their own mother. Maybe they were comparing you to their mother or father. Um, but whatever the issue is, whatever was going on, on in the past, when you guys got really, 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 really close, um, they loved the way that felt, that they were able to be open and expressive with you. Okay? And the, the energy is still on the table about getting to know each other and strengthening the bond. 
okay, deepening the bond. I hope that you can forgive me one day. So this person, they must have done something, I think delaying or withholding or withdrawing um, caused a lot of friction. Virgo, you might have left the connection in the past and left this per person out in the cold and started your life over. But I feel like this person is aware um, that because they couldn't give you what you needed at the time, um, I feel there's regret about that. And it's enough that's motivating them to actually come through this time for you. I wish things could be different. Yeah, they definitely struggled with some internal stuff. I hid who I really am from you. Yeah, they didn't want you to see. They had a lot of great fear that you would judge them or you would look at their their weaknesses and use it against them. This person has a fear of opening up because when we open up and become vulnerable, then we give other people the power to hurt us. And whomever you were dealing with in the past recognized that as being, they were very overprotective of themselves and they kept things real surface with you or with other people. Wow, they just threw out a couple of cards here. I hide behind material things, so this person work first, or, um, you know, people who, people who don't want to face the depth of their feelings or their fears and anxieties will have a tendency to obsess about really strange things or other things to take their place, like, so they could be um, hiding in uh, addictions. Um, gambling or putting obstacles um, in front of a relationship or in front of having because when you get involved with someone um, that person you're involved with reflects back to you who you are and I feel like this person had a fear of looking into your eyes and seeing themselves uh, the worst part of themselves they had a hard time seeing the glorious loving parts of themselves so they would run away to other relationships so they would hide or get busy in work or any kind of addictions okay Okay, yep, I took the easy way out. So for this person, the easy way out was either replacing you or um, putting somebody else in the picture um, because so instead of going deep with you because of their fears, it was much easier to have other relationships and keep things surface. As soon as things start to get deep for this person with a particular person, um, they run, okay? Or they, they, they just back out, but with you, for some reason, something happened here. You were able to get so close, and they know this. They know that you were able to see behind any kind of mask. Um, and did you judge them for it? No, I don't feel like you did. I feel like you related to it in a lot of ways and tried to be understanding and patient, okay? Healing family issues, definitely. Uh, something to do here with the parents or a parent and then honeymoon. So you guys are going to be getting together around the holidays. That's for sure. There's a lot of healing energy there with the star. And it feels really promising. Um, now, is this the person from your past that was um, like very abusive? Well, you know, it could be. And I just want you to know that if this person is going in and re getting recovery and healing from trauma and stuff, that's wonderful. Um, but you still have to protect your heart because if they're coming back in, you still got to make sure that you're not going to be at the brunt, face the full brunt of any kind of abuse or issues that weren't resolved. I feel like this person, whatever they had going on in the past, some underlying hostility or um, addictions or things like that, I feel like they projected that stuff onto you in the past. And I, that's why they're hoping that you can forgive them because I feel like they realize that they were resolving their conflicts and past issues with you, through you, which you had nothing to do with. You may have triggered them at times. Okay, a decision. This person is making a decision about this relationship right here very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. I feel like you bring a very healing energy to this person, Virgo. Um, I don't feel like they felt like you were critical um, in the past, maybe, maybe at some point, or maybe they were extremely sensitive and took your truths as criticisms. But I feel like now they kind of see that um, you really didn't mean well for them, Virgo. Your heart was in the right place. You had good intentions, and you just wanted to love this person and to be loved by them. And um, they had a lot of struggles. 
definitely a lot of struggles, but they're different now, okay? And this is what they want you to know. There was awakening up here, and there is going to be more awakenings happening for this person. Um, so, yeah, they say that they're different now, but of course you need to be able to see that, and they want to show you with that consistency and moving forward constantly every day. Protected, Virgo, you are protected. You are safe and divinely guided, okay? And they do... They wonder if you're happy without them. And I think I think you're happy, period, Virgo. I just think you are. I don't know that you're happier without them. Some of you might be. But I kind of feel like overall, like, you have a good positive um, outlook at this time in your life. Um, I don't know if you're communicating with this person at this time. If you're not, they are wondering how you're feeling and what's going on with you. And if you are happy, I do feel like they care. Um but we also have the page of earth here for your advice. Your advice right now, Virgo, um, if you just do some studying, if you um, like to study, um, be dependable. Um, try to stay as cheerful as you can. This is also a card of mischievous energy, so you might need to like not let on every detail of your day, every single thing you're doing on social media, like putting that you know, what you're having for dinner or what all your new stuff is. I feel like you need to really just start thinking more about your plans and concepts and also time to get to work, Virgo. There's an excellent opportunity presenting itself to you in the month of September. Okay, there will be some happy news about your career, promotions, maybe even scholarship comes through for someone. There's also a new area of study, so you might be doing something new or have ideas and plans for your career, things that you want to, you know, um, concepts and plans. So stay focused on that, really, because, um, you know, career and, and uh, you know, our, our creative side and things that we like to do are also very important. You know, it's not just about love all the time, but maybe for right now, um, that's what you've been doing and keep doing that. And the chariots here again, rewards that come from hard work. You will see the results and rewards from hard work you put in. Um, you'll be able to successfully balance all of your priorities, which is very positive. You have determination and willpower, and some of you will be receiving public recognition uh, for your work and for the plans and the things that you go after and try to accomplish in your life during this month. Okay. We also have another page, page of fire. Okay. There is definitely somebody in your periphery you might get a message that someone tells you when you were in school with them that they've had a crush on you for the longest time, or it could be this person communicates and expresses this to you, okay? Um, so this card is about enthusiasm, being optimistic, creative, and also being impatient. This is like no longer waiting and wanting to go forward Okay, and being excited about what's coming up. New, and there's some news of exciting opportunities, as I was saying. I see you allowing your create, creativity to soar and doing things that fuel your passions. Your advice here, Virgo, is to finish what you start, whatever it is, okay, in your life. Let's get a couple of charms, okay. Oh, okay. Some of you do work on social media. There's a little bird, little bird here, okay. That looks like that little... Uh, Twitter bird. So there might be communications or something in your DMs on Twitter if you use if you use tw uh, Twitter. But there's also about communication here. I feel, and I just heard canary in a coal mine. I feel like that was an old song. But there's definitely a message coming to you for or at least for those of you. Uh, who are currently feeling like you're in a dark place, or from someone who is in a dark place. Okay. You might see something on Twitter. I feel like Twitter, I know, I don't I don't use Twitter, and I actually don't even have social media anymore. I got rid of my social media. Um, but I kind of feel like if you haven't, whatever the communication is, or you're going to see something, it's going to be very positive. Okay, the hanger is here. That popped out. Well, that I picked that up twice here. So what does this mean? Uh, some of you have a boutique. Are you going to start work you're creating or... Um, working in a boutique, a specialty, something here about specialty and you being special. You're very special, this person, Virgo, but the hanger as well makes me feel like um, I'm hearing, hang on, just hang on, Virgo, don't give up. Um, don't give up on love. Don't give up on your plans in your life. It's very positive. What's this? Oh, 
okay, there's a horse here. So some of you could have a Chinese sign, um, the, the horse. Some of you might be the horse, okay? And if that's the case, this is a message for you. Some of you have um, work, work on farms or you work with horses or have a connection to horses. Oh, wow, that's interesting. We have a skull with a top hat. <laughs> a skull with a top hat. There's definitely, I don't know what that means. Please leave me comments below if you know what a skull with a top hat represents. But there is something here also. Oh, I just heard Nightmare Before Christmas. <laughs> for some of you, this person coming back before around the holidays might be nothing but a nightmare for you. Um, expect it, though. I do feel like whomever you were dealing with in the past... Um, this person's like, oh, great. Now my nightmare is ha happening during the day. You're getting some kind of text message or phone call or somebody wants to move towards you or come visit or travel or something along those lines. I'm also feeling um, October 31st will be a very significant day. Oh, look. Now you have the skull and crossbones. All right. For some of you, this is just nothing but poison. Your poisonous nightmare. Beware. Some of you need to be beware. I know there's some of you who are like, I am not dealing with this person anymore. Again, I'm happy that they've had awakening. I'm happy that they realize now, but for some, it might be too late. And for others, this is just a warning here. Be careful. Medicines that you're taking, things that you're drinking, make sure you're, you're, where you keep your cleaners, for some reason, I need to tell you, is to put locks on those doors or keep things out of reach or um, label things. Look at things around you that are toxic and poisonous. Whatever they are, put labels on that, okay? Uh, toxicity and poison, that is, unless somebody goes and gets some Reiki cleaning or something along those lines or, you know, there, there's something along those lines that you need to be weary of. So just kind of keep your eyes open, keep your wits about you, any toxicity or poisonous people in your life that you need to steer clear from, or for some of you, it could be this person. So you need to make sure that you are safe. Okay, Virgo, make sure you're safe. All right, so that's going to be your reading. At least we didn't have a light show today. And again, if you want to get a personal reading, link in the description box below. Do go over to my community tab here on my channel and um, look at the post about the live streams, at paid, mini, paid mini readings, and if you would like to be part of my channel as a moderator. All right, you guys, love you very much. I'll see you soon. Take care.